Hey guys, Eric, Ferris Engineering. We are joined today with Jackie and Alex from PhD Racing and their M2 Supra. We have a hood louver, a gigantic one. It's quite large. So basically this is going to improve cooling stack efficiency, which this BMW definitely has quite a few coolers up front. It's also gonna improve front end downforce by allowing that high pressure air that's going through the front grill to relieve itself and not push up on the hood any longer. So you get kind of two benefits for one with this. So improved cooling stack and front end downforce. Overall, we're basically gonna remove the hood from the car, shove it on some carpet, cut a big hole in it, install this guy, throw it back on the car. Let's get to it. All right, so at this point we have removed the hood. We've now set it on some nice carpeting so that we're not scratching anything. And then we have the hood louver template basically placed where it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna cut that out with some scissors real quick. And then we're actually gonna start cutting the hood where it says cut hood here. Ultimately, um, to remove the hood, four 13 millimeter nuts. So just take those off. Uh, we did mark the location of the nuts um, so that we can go back on and the body panel gaps will be roughly the same. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut these out real quick. Then we're gonna start working on the hood itself. All right, so at this point I have cut out the template. We now have it taped on. So this is gonna be our guideline to basically cut the hood. Um, I use the painter's tape to keep the template in place on the hood. Again, uh, according to the template, basically you're, you're lining up this outside edge with this like hard edge that's raised on the M2 factory hood. And I know it's probably hard to see in, in video, but like basically we are, that edge is right there and it follows very well. So if you're not, if it doesn't follow, probably need to reposition it. And that's one of the reasons why we use paper instead of vinyl. Paper can actually be repositioned multiple times. Vinyl, if you stick it down one time, you're kind of screwed. Um, so that's basically why we use paper anymore versus vinyl. We're gonna go grab a cutoff wheel and start cutting. All right, so as you saw, I basically cut through the top skin of the hood, and then I would recommend probably peeling it from the corner like you saw me do, but basically this is just some bond agent um, between the structural under skin and the hood, hood skin itself. Um, we're basically gonna drill some holes in a few locations as guide holes as we flip over the hood, and then we're gonna use some uh, painter's tape to connect those holes and then cut out this structural side so that we have some nice, awesome airflow through the hood. So we're gonna basically use this ridge right here as the guide template. So we're gonna flip it over and I'll kind of show you what I mean. I'll probably uh, outline it with double-sided, or not double-sided tape, uh, painter's tape real quick, just so that it makes it very easy and I'm not gonna be second guessing myself as I'm using a grind or cutoff wheel. But we'll flip it over real quick after we clean it off, clean off the carpeting, uh, to reduce any scratches, even though it's vinyl wrapped. And then we'll uh, cut off this structural part and then we'll do some double-sided tape. All right, so we've outlined what we're gonna do as far as the painter's tape. We're gonna go to the inside, use this as a guideline. Um, ultimately, this hood goes down and then it's got like another down. We're going to that, that first down right here and we're just gonna try and cut like basically right there. And we're going to the center of this like uh, slot. I guess, and we're just basically gonna take out this entire center section. Let's get after it. All right, so off camera, because we forgot and we got all antsy in our pantsy, um, we basically deburred all the cut edges, 
with a deburr tool. Um, you can use like a cutoff wheel, not a cutoff wheel, a, a flap disc or a roll lock, or we used a just regular deburr tool, like deburr tool and a file. Um, and I just hand deburred it, made sure all that the edges that we cut are kind of nicer. Then we basically cleaned the hood and the carbon louver with 50-50 isopropyl alcohol to ensure better adhesion on that double-sided tape. We put the double-sided tape on the louver and then Alex and I did our best to basically line up with this location, basically that leading edge. Um, and then we actually double checked with uh, a measurement to the corners of the trunk or the hood. But anyway, we basically did our best to lay this as centered and as, I don't know, same curvature as the hood as possible. But I think this is probably gonna be the easiest way to do so. Um, you can probably do that in uh, a number of different ways. But anyway, hood louver's installed. We're gonna throw the hood back on the car after we vacuum it out as best we can. And then we'll have some final uh, product photos to finish this off. Mm -hmm.